Hi everybody. I'm going to talk to you today about uh, low libido. I got an interesting uh, question sent to me. Hi Cindy, I'm 23 years old and I'm facing a difficult moment sexually because I've lost my libido. I've got no interest in sex and the worst is that I don't enjoy it anymore. What are some of the ways I can get my libido back? P.S. She says, I've only been on the pill for a couple of years now and my libido has decreased gradually since I started being sexually active. Thanks, Elaine. So, Elaine, well, I'm going to answer your question, but I'm also going to answer this for everybody because this is really common. And losing your libido, as we call it, um, is really is not unusual at any age. And this is also not strictly uh, a female problem. A lot of men, increasingly actually men, are reporting a loss of interest in sex or a lowered sex drive or a lowered libido um, to me these days. So this is a really kind of universal problem. And while it has a lot of different um, sources, often the way to climb out of it is, is quite similar for a lot of people. So let me just go through some of the common things that could be behind uh, a surprising reduction of libido or um, even just when it's come out of nowhere all of a sudden. So some of these things are, firstly, um, it's probably really important that you go to a doctor, especially if um, it really has has just come out of nowhere. So some of the things that you should be considering when you're talking to a doctor, first of all, is make sure that your doctor is knowledgeable about sex and pleasure. The vast majority of doctors are often overworked, they're overstretched, and most of them get maybe 8 to 12 hours of sex education in their entire medical training which is really not enough so a lot of the time they will just default to simple answers saying you know I'll just relax or that's normal and while those pieces of information might be uh, accurate they're not necessarily helpful in this situation so the kind of thing that you need to guide your doctor on is asking them questions specifically about things like imbalanced hormone levels, depression, heart disease, diabetes, blood pressure, sleep problems, uh, arthritis, cancer tests, uh, kidney disease, and any kind of neurological disease. So any of these things, of course, can impact your libido. But let's say that you're in the clear for all of those things, which I hope you are, because uh, a lot of those are, are pretty unpleasant. That said, it's pretty common to, to experience depression and anxiety. It's certainly common to experience uh, imbalanced hormone levels. And while those things on their own are not the sole driver for a drop in libido, they certainly can uh, make it a bit more complicated moving forward. So there's some of the things that you can ask your doctor about if you want to take that approach for working with a lowered libido. The other thing that you need to be aware of is things like medication. So medications that are notorious for reducing our libido are things like antidepressants and anti-anxiety medications, anti-seizure medications, any kind of anti-hypersensitive medications and cholesterol lowering medications even can have an effect on our libido and the other one too that i think a lot of us seem to forget is any kind of hormonal birth control can also have an effect on your libido now i'm not suggesting for a moment that you should not take birth control if that's what you want to do but if you notice that since taking the pill like elaine um you have a drop in your libido there could be a relationship there. It's not always the case, but it could be. So feel empowered enough to ask your doctor either about changing the dosage or changing brands even, because not all bodies respond the same way to the different kind of birth control pills and devices. So it's really worth checking out a bunch of different options if hormonal birth control is the thing that you want to go with. Also, consider your lifestyle. Now, 
I think a lot of us tend to think that sex just sort of happens naturally. It just happens on its own and that it's natural. But the truth is that for a lot of us, sex is not really natural and that desire actually takes effort. Just like when we start dating somebody, we put in quite a bit of effort at that time. So to think that in a, in a relationship, we're going to just be feeling magically excited and horny all the time, it's a little bit of a, of a misnomer. So things that you need to think about that affect your lifestyle are how much energy do you have in general? And how is your overall health? How's your diet? Do you eat relatively well? Are you getting enough sleep? And also think about your living situation. Who are you, who are you living with? Do you live with your parents? Do you live with your children? Uh, if you have flatmates or roommates, are they around a lot? Do you, have, do you feel like you have privacy? A lot of these lifestyle things also can affect our, our interest in sex. And things also like your bedroom. Is it nice? Is it cozy? Is it beautiful? Is it sexy? Does it make you feel like you want to get it on? Or is it a little bit, I don't know, if it's cold or, you know, the sheets are a bit uncomfortable. These things really can affect the quality of the sex that we're having. So it's super important that you think about this stuff also. Um, also think about the quality of your relationship. It's it really important that the relationship is going along smoothly and that you, the relationship is getting the nourishment that it needs. I think in the old days, people used to believe that if there was a sex problem in a relationship, it was because there was a communication problem in a relationship first. In some cases, that's true, but that's not always true. So if there is something on your on your mind and, and there is something that's making you a little bit uncomfortable in your relationship, that can have an effect on your libido. So it's really useful to be able to talk to your partner about whatever that thing is, whether it's a sex thing or some other thing. Um, if it is getting getting you down and, it, and you feel like it is affecting your libido, it's really important to be able to talk to your partner about that. Um, and also maybe getting help from a professional if you find it too hard to talk about on your own. There's absolutely no shame in finding a professional to help you talk about some of these big feelings. It can be really, really difficult and, and really challenging. So the thing is also that, you know, libido is like a, it's like a muscle, metaphorically, not actually. But sometimes you got to kind of move it so you don't lose it. So, you know, keeping it toned is, is that thing that the more sex you have quality sex and i'll get to that in a second the more sex you have the more you want it but it's difficult to want something that you don't like so that brings me to the quality thing if the sex that you're having is not that great and you're not really enjoying it that much then it's really again it's important to practice talking about what you what kind of sex you like and the kind of sex that you want to have and and being feeling like you're comfortable enough and, and free enough to be able to talk about that that's also a really important thing to consider in working with a sleepy libido and the last thing of course is to consider making it a priority because when we are waiting for the mood to take us and the mood doesn't take us um sometimes we can be waiting around forever so it's really important and I'm sure you've seen this before I've talked about it until I mean my face fell off um, but it's really important to in making sex a priority to schedule it because when you schedule it you're you're saying to yourself and you're saying to your partner this is important enough that I want to make sure that, that we get on with this and that we, we do this because I want us to have a great sex life. So they are my tips for a laying libido. Um, I'd love to know what you think. Post some comments below and uh, head on over to my website. I've got a lot more information, including a whole online course about this that's designed for individuals and couples primarily couples but anybody can do it and it's a, for all genders because this libido thing I tell you what it is the number one reason that people come to see me and even I have 
had struggled with my libido from time to time. I'm pleased to say it's, uh, it's on track right now. But uh, it's not for everybody. And you know what? It comes and goes. So if you're having a little lull, don't freak out. Don't think, it's the end. It could just be a little patch. But if it's going on too long and you're not comfortable with it, it's definitely time to get some help. Check out the Desire series on my website uh, or get in touch with me. All right. Have a great night. Bye.